brief look at the Arrange page. I'm now just going to show you a few features um, which, although simple, are uh, very useful, particularly if you um, get familiar with them earlier on um, as you're using Logic because they become things that you do by second nature uh, and really help you get around with Logic. So I'm going to show you how to navigate the screen in Logic. The first thing I want to show you is the Zoom tool. Um, this is a feature purely to let you expand or, or contract um, different parts of the screen so that you can see more clearly what you're working on. And this is represented in the screen by these two sliders. So down here we have the horizontal slider uh, and as you can see that stretches or contracts the screen from left to right and it basically lets you see um, in more detail your material so if you wanted to um, make an edit something that we can come to later um, at, at bar 3 you can focus in clearly and see exactly what you're doing and by the same token Sometimes maybe you want to see the whole project in less detail, but you want to be able to see everything. So you can squash the screen up a bit, and here I, I can fit all my material into one screen. Um, I can horizontally. And then the other part is the vertical slider, which does the same thing. So here I can, I can squash it up so everything fits into one screen. And likewise, if I'm working on a part I'm making an edit where I really need to see what's going on. I can open it out and then I get a much clearer idea of what's happening. Okay, so those are the two, the two zoom sliders. Uh, you'll also have noticed that I'm using uh, this slider which simply moves the material from left to right so if the screen is expanded so that it doesn't all fit into one screen, I can drag this slider here and then I can see the rest of the project. Okay, so I'm just going to get that down to a position where I can see pretty much everything. Okay, it does take a bit of, a bit of fiddling about with. Okay, now the, the next um, basic tool is the transport bar. This uh, sits at the bottom of the, the screen. Uh, this basically represents the controls that you would have on a, a tape recorder or on a CD player or video, pretty much any um, media device for, for playing back and for recording. Um, so here you have there's the stop button, uh, which also usually doubles up to take you back to the start. Then there's the play. So you see there, I press play and my track starts playing. Uh, there's the fast forward and the rewind. These help you move forward and backwards within the project. And and there's pause, so for when you're playing you want to pause. And then there's the record button. Uh, this is what will allow you to record new material. So if I was playing and I start this going, now I can actually record new material. Okay, so that's the transport bar. And you see there, I press stop, and it's taking me back to the start. 